Hello, I'm Bill Labaris. I'm the Editorial Director of the Enterprise CIO Forum. And I'm privileged today to be joined by Heather Campbell, who was the head of her consulting firm, Basically IT, and recently was the VP and CIO of Canadian Pacific Railroad. Heather, thanks very much for joining me today. Thank you, Bill. I'm delighted to be here today. So in this segment, I'd like to talk to you about the technologies and solutions that you think and you feel are going to figure most prominently uh, in the CIO's life as IT is transformed over the next two to four years. Which technologies specifically do you think are going to play the greatest role? Okay, well I think the two that are highest on my radar screen at the moment are big data and cloud computing. And I think that um, those two technologies are important as sort of the ground stakes, laying the groundwork for where you get the real value, and that is in the convergence of those technologies with things like mobility, predictive analytics, in-memory databases, and consumerization. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> cloud I think is reasonably well understood and, and we know a, a lot about it. Everyone has a great level of interest in it. Big data, uh, maybe not quite so much. Uh, describe what you mean by big data and, and why you think it's going to play such a prominent role in the lives of CIOs in the coming years. Okay. Well, big data has become a topic that, um, that's become hot, I guess, in the last few years. And I think what's interesting is we still have not dealt with our traditional forms of data, structured and unstructured, in ways where we're really leveraging the business value of the information we're bringing in. The added issue on top of that that makes it big, so to speak, is that more and more devices out in the marketplace are actually generating data. And that data, when uh, manipulated, will in turn become useful. Let me give you an example. Um, on the railway, um, we have intermodal yards that receive trucks that have containers, and those containers are lifted off the truck and put onto a train. All of those cranes uh, generate data. Now, one day, one of our cranes failed and we racked our heads, we looked at all the IT things that could have gone wrong with the device, and it turns out it was a, a mechanical failure of a chip, okay, to run the, the crane itself. Now, what's interesting is that business people believe that that is an IT issue because it has a chip. Now, think about all the things out there that have chips. Your car has a chip. Railway cars have chips, locomotives have chips, wayside detectors have chips, everything is being chipped. And all of those devices are generating data and we have to put it somewhere. So that's, that's why I say big data and cloud because the second challenge once you wrap your head around all that data is where, the, where, where are we gonna put all this data and how do we scale it up and scale it down depending on what our demands for that data are at any point in time. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, uh, tidal volumes of data, more, more, more and more are being generated by more and more devices. Uh, and that's the challenge of big data. And the challenge of cloud is, okay, how do we then store, manipulate, and ultimately deliver services around that data? Absolutely, and I think we're starting to see the spawning of other technologies or the prominence of other technologies to help us deal with that. So when I talked about in-memory databases, this is a relatively new concept over the past few years about being able to operate on that data um, in real time and being able to get the results of that data out to uh, a device or a person or a mobile device that can use that data to uh, deliver a business result. Mm -hmm. So with this foreknowledge of cloud and big data being capable of playing a very prominent role, probably will play a very prominent role, what are some specific things that CIOs should be doing today in order to better leverage and harness the benefits of those two solutions in particular? So I honestly believe that um, companies today, many of them are hitting a step change in, in their technology platforms and, and uh, software services. And they really need to step back and take a look at their entire state from the perspective of communications and leadership, architecture and strategy, methods and process, education and staff training, relationship transparency, how well they work with the business, and really have a program in place to kind of step up their game in all of those areas. The other thing that they really need to be doing is modernizing their technology suite. We're still sitting on old technology, mainframe technology, mid-range technology, and we don't have um, the folks that have been helpful in helping us maintain them. Uh, to my point about demographics, are retiring. So they're not going to be around to help us look after these things anymore. Um, it's time for all CIOs out there to be looking at the next, you know, 5 to 10 to 15 years and putting in place the proper infrastructures, process, services that we're going to need uh, to move our businesses forward. Mm -hmm. And last question, Heather, does, uh, it, it, to that end, uh, are we thinking, should we be thinking more than CIOs about services that they no longer provide themselves internally, but maybe look to third parties to help them provide? 
Yeah, I think you need to think right across the gamut because, uh, you know, one of the other key areas that perhaps we'll get into uh, later is in the whole area of outsourcing. So many companies have outsourced so much uh, that they now have no control over their, in fact, uh, their plant and their infrastructure and are at the mercy of a, a contract that they have with the company. So I think the, that whole third party situation, in fact, any aspect of your operation that involves the provision of an IT service needs to be included in whatever your transfer transformational plan is for the next five to ten years. Mm -hmm. So real balancing act then. Real okay. balancing act. Mm -hmm. Well, Heather Campbell from Basically IT and formerly of Canadian Pacific, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Bill.